hypocritical ranting in the house today it is clearly an attempt to take advantage of the frustrated rantings of a politician that he that he as prime minister was trying to predict would be sitting over here as leader of the People's United Party. The second reason why I suspect the Prime Minister went on totally on becoming of a Prime Minister to, to make an issue of this at this stage when in fact when in fact this is old hot stuff going back almost ten years because he's trying to divert attention from the ongoing and pers pervasive corruption that is taking place in his administration today. I was wasting too much time on the previous Prime Minister because <laughs> indeed I believe it is long since accepted by all right-thinking believers that he's beyond the pale. <laughs> he's beyond the pale. I mean this only in the sort of met metaphorical sense. I've just said, Mr. Speaker, that to the extent that he might be ill, there's a difference between ill and sick. We know he's sick <laughs> in a head. But to the extent that he might be ill, um, nobody will treat that lightly. Nobody will take that as any laughing matter. So I say again, what, what I will tell you now, Mr. Speaker, is merely a sort of met metaphorical, a, a kind of allusion. In terms of politics and this refusal of his to go, boy, there is a term used on the streets of the south side of Belize City, from where I hail, you know. I had a kid outside boy. We say, the man dead, but he refused for close the eye. <laughs> Politically, this man dead, but he refused for close the eye. I don't know why you never sit down and kept your mouth shut. When I spoke, me never call your name except to talk about the Musa Fonseca administration, you know. I never level any accusation at you. I talked about what the member for Orange Walk Central had said on the tape. But because you get up now you, uh, and, and you've, as I said, you've got a faciness uh, to intervene, let me say what is on that tape when the news media can't play because of fear of libel. On that tape, you are accused of personally having stolen tens of millions and it is said you should be in jail and that were any other country, you would be in jail. It is the man sitting beside you, the confessor on the tape.